Pop-up food stalls are growing in popularity across Delhi as emerging small business owners look for new ways to make money. The trend is benefiting sellers and customers with street food, a cheap alternative at mealtimes. But officials are urging vendors to keep the food clean and healthy. It's lunchtime and hungry customers line up to buy something tasty along a busy Delhi street. Amelia Sarmento has been running her street food business on Santa Cruz Street for almost three years. Each day she spends $50 to buy rice, vegetables and meat and the day's trade earns her around $60 to $70 up to $20 profit. I do this to send my children to school and because my husband is unemployed, so I sell this food to support my family. She says she's tried other businesses like selling clothes, but they didn't work out. First, I sold second-hand clothes in Taibesi market, but no one bought them and the business failed, so I tried this business to pay the bills. In Santa Cruz, Milena Suarez started selling street food two months ago and is already seeing the benefits. With the money she makes going towards her education. This job really helps me to pay for my classes. Street food isn't just helping small business owners. It's proving popular for people who don't have time to cook during work or school hours. As a student, when we have no time to go back home, we just try to find a place like this for our lunch. It helps us a lot. It's this lunch rush that has seen even more food counters pop up in the afternoons. But the rise in street sellers across Delhi has put a focus on food safety for customers, with vendors being urged to follow good hygienic practices. We need to pay attention to the hygiene of the food, especially for those who prepare it, such as washing hands and cooking utensils. And when they sell it, make sure the place is clean and the food is covered so that dust doesn't get into the food and it doesn't have an impact on public health. The Food Safety Authority is also calling on street vendors to prepare hand washing stations. Zagares and Jeremias Madera, RTTL World News.